The Boston Box was developed by the Boston Consulting Group. It can be used to analyse two areas, the set of organisations within a corporate portfolio or the set of products and services offered by an organisation. As you can see, there are two axes in the Boston Box. The vertical axis represents market growth and ranges from low to high. The horizontal axis represents market share, which again ranges from low to high. There are four quadrants within the box. At the top right hand section, we have the stars. These are the organisations or products that have a high market share and operate within a market that is growing extensively. The stars are high performing to deliver income and profit for the organisation. When market growth slows, the stars typically move to the bottom right hand quadrant and become cash cows. The cash cows are established performers. They need very little investment and generate funds for investment elsewhere in the organisation. In the bottom left hand quadrant are the dogs. These are organisations or products that have a low market share and operate within a market that has little growth. The dogs are likely to be a cash drain and usually consume management time. They are candidates for removal or divestment. Finally, we have the wildcat or problem child at the top left hand section. These organisations and products are in a market which is growing, but currently they have a very low market share in that market. These are the organisation or products that need to be monitored and may require additional investment in order for them to become stars. The Boston Box is useful as a strategic analysis tool. One application is the use of a Boston Box when identifying the strengths and weaknesses during a SWOT analysis. The evaluation of a portfolio may result in the identification of strong business assets. Perhaps there are many stars or weak assets such as some clear dogs. These can be shown in the SWOT and considered when determining the organisational strategy.